Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to sew this zero waste cocktail dress. It's a beginner friendly project. It sews up in three to four hours. It's size inclusive and it's also drafted directly onto your fabric. So there's no pattern needed. Now this design I've adapted from Mood Society's Katia shirt. So if you're looking for more of a top or tunic and like there are even fuller sleeves, you can follow their tutorial. My version is going to have a flared bottom and more tapered sleeves. Also, it is almost zero waste. There is a bit of waste from the neck hole and the hem, especially if your fabric isn't cut perfectly straight, but it is still very low waste. For this project, you will need a piece of fabric roughly two meters, depending on the length of dress you want, and it has to be a minimum of 115 centimeters or 45 inches wide. However, if you are plus size or you'd like to make a matching tie belt, you should go with wider fabric. And you will also need some bias tape for finishing the neckline. So let's get our fabric ready. For this video, I am making a children's version of the dress. It's just a lot easier to fit in the video frame. So your proportions will look slightly different, but it's exactly the same process. First step, we need to fold our fabric in half twice, widthwise and lengthwise, and lay it out so these are your two folds, and the width is horizontal, and the selvage edge is running vertical. Then we are going to start drafting. First, we need our shoulder measurement. Take a measuring tape and measure from your center back. Use your vertebrae at the base of your neck over your shoulder and to where you'd like the sleeve to start. It can be right after the top of your shoulder or more drop down. I wouldn't recommend directly on top of the shoulder though. Take that measurement plus your seam allowance, I'm using one centimeter, and mark that across the top here. Next, measure from the top of your shoulder to your bust apex and mark that here. Next, you'll need to take your bust measurement plus at least six to 10 centimeters and divide that by four. That measurement goes across here. So we need to create an angle from the shoulder point to the bottom. Now the mark you made at the bust is the minimum your line should be to fit, but I would recommend going out further than your mark for some more drape. But don't go all the way to the corner of your fabric though, as the part on the side will become the sleeve. Now, if your fabric is extra wide and there's a lot of fabric left, that's fine. You can use it to make a tie belt with the extra. Basically just eyeball what seems like a nice gradual flare for a dress. Then we're going to draw our neckline shape. This dress will need a wide enough neckline to fit over your head. Although if you are a more advanced sewer, you could do a tighter neckline with a button at the back and make a facing from the neck hole fabric. With the neck shape though, go a lot smaller than you think and don't forget your seam allowance because you can always try it on and cut it wider later. And we also need to mark a notch for our sleeve on the dress piece. This should be 30 to 35 centimeters, 12 to 14 inches down from the shoulder. Then you'll need to square off the bottom corner to the hem. If your fabric wasn't cut evenly, you will need to take some off the bottom edge so everything is even and the same length. So then cut out your pieces and they should look like this. Depending on your salvage edge, you may need to trim that off too. So then on to sewing, first we are going to sew the sleeves. You need to take this piece and fold it in half, but because one side is triangular and one straight, they won't match perfectly and you'll have extra fabric on one side. It's okay though because we're gathering it anyway, but it does make it a little tricky to line up. Trim the top corner just a bit and then fold it in half and pin your center. Then pin the two sides and find the middle on both sides and pin that. So it's in quarters. It also might be helpful to mark those three spots just in case the pins slip out because we will need these marks later on. And then if you have another color of pin, it's helpful to use. Divide those sections again in half so it's now divided into eighths. Then we are going to remove just the end pins to sew the bottom of the sleeves together to create a loop. Open it up, sew the edges, then fold it back in half so the seam is hidden. Now we need to hand sew a gathering stitch along the edge and be sure to do it past your seam allowance because we don't want it getting caught in our stitching. This stitch can be quite wide. There's a lot to gather and then gather it to match roughly the same length as the armhole notch you marked and tie a single knot to hold that size. You should now have a roughly donut shape that looks like this. You can then remove the eighth pins if you have a different color, those ones, but leave the quarter ones so the top center and the ones at the middle of the front and back will need those. And then we repeat the exact same thing on the other side. So now on the dress piece, sew up the side from the bottom to your armhole notch. We are then going to attach the sleeve to the dress. You'll need to mark your top shoulder on the dress where the fold is and then fold that to find the two quarter marks. Insert the ruffle into the sleeve hole and match your top shoulder, quarter pins, and bottom seam. 
And before you start sewing, make sure that your wrong and right sides are correct. I initially made the mistake of putting it on the wrong side, so just double check that everything's correct. I like to sew this with the wrong side of the dress out, the ruffle inside, but sewing so that the ruffle is on top. I think having the gathered side on top makes it a lot easier to space the gathers as you sew. I hope that makes sense. You wanna sew around the edge, trying to evenly spread out the gathers in each pin section. Make sure your edges stay aligned, just go nice and slow and keep adjusting the fabric as you go. After attaching the ruffle sleeve, you will have something like this. And then we repeat the exact same thing on the other side. So now it's time to tackle the neckline. First, I recommend carefully trying it on. Be sure not to stretch it out. And typically you wanna take a bit off the front so it's slightly lower than the back, but you can shape the neckline how you like. Just be mindful that you will be taking off the seam allowance still, so the raw edge should always be smaller than you want your final neckline. And you can finish the neckline different ways, but I chose to use bias tape. It's fairly easy to do, you just open it up. On the fabric right side, line up the bias tape edges and sew along the fold of the bias tape and gradually stretch the bias tape as you go around the curves of the neckline. And then you fold the bias tape back up, flip it to the inside, give it a really good press, and then top stitch it down. And I'll include a link to more detailed instructions if you have never done a bias tape neckline before. So now that our neckline is done, there's just a few easy things left. You will need to hem your dress. I'd recommend trying it on and pinning it where you'd like your hem to be. Then give a good press all around at that measurement. And then you can either stitch it regular or if you want something fancier, do a blind hem. Then the final step is to sew together the very bottom of your sleeve. This just helps the sleeve from sort of rolling outward and the stitching showing. And also if you do want a really nice clean finish, you can also bias bind your sleeve seam. But try it on and figure out how high you want to sew the sleeve bottom. You can keep a really low armhole or take it up to wherever is comfortable and pin it to see what you think. Then you wanna turn inside out and stitch up to that point. It's a lot of fabric to stitch through, so go slow and also be sure to do a really good back stitch at the top point. And that's it, you're done. Enjoy your dress that you made. The sleeves are so fun and flirty. And if you make this dress and share it on social media, please tag me, I would love to see it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and happy sewing.